my recording. <laughs> you know, I've been thinking, I want to learn something. And here it is. <laughs> oh my god, it's dummy thick. Python Crash Course. Oh no, it got like 450 pages. No! It's actually a big ass book. It cost me 25 bucks. So yeah, I wanna... I wanna learn a programming language. I've never programmed before. <laughs> but I'm like interested in programming. So I Google, which is the easiest programming language to learn. They said Python. So then I was like, well, let me buy a goddamn book. But I didn't think it was this big. Jesus. All right. Uh, I don't even know what I can do with Python. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't do my research. The goal of this book is to bring you up to speed with Python as quickly as possible so you can build programs at work, games, data visualizations, and web applications while developing a foundation in programming that will serve you well for the rest of your life. This book is for those who want to learn the basics of programming quickly so they can focus on interesting projects and those who like to test their understanding of new concepts by solving meaningful problems. <gasps> I like solving meaningful problems. Oh my god, this is great. I'm kind of feeling hyped now. Oh shit, okay. <laughs> I can't believe I bought a random ass $25 book just so I can spontaneously record videos about it. Oh god, what am I doing with my life? Guess I'll read! <laughs> in chapter 1, you'll install Python on your computer and run your first program which prints the message Hello world to the screen. Nah, <laughs> I know that's like the first thing every programmer does but it's so fucking funny dude oh hell yeah <laughs> and off we go we start with the command prompt uh, to check if we have the right version of python which we did and then next up uh, we have to download sublime text for python which say uh, explain this to me sublime text is a code editor that supports multiple programming languages including python cool yeah let's do that then we made some folders. Yeah, hello world. Pi. Okay, Py. Uh, what? Oh gosh, that's gonna happen. We are gonna do it. And then we start with our first hello world. How do I run it? <laughs> yeah, I'm confused. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> are you guys able to hack me right now? I'm scared. <laughs> What's going on? So the book said use Python 3, but I'll just use Python because then it works. Alright, back to reading. Oh. Chapter 2! Chapter 2, guys! <gasps> oh my god! Wow, look at, look at us. Look, look at us. Okay, so if we were to make an error, right? <gasps> it's gonna show us an error thingy. What the fuck is this? But if we do it like boom and then run the program, what's gonna happen? <gasps> Syntax error. The alert was never closed. Oh, it can even show you the error. Oh, that kind of makes life a little bit easier. Oh, Python. Oh, back to reading. Woo, variables. Oh, we gotta do stuff now. Fuck. Let's see. Variables. And we are gonna do it like this. Yeah, this makes sense. Wait, this is so easy. <laughs> this is so easy. The fuck? Okay, so add a blank line to hello world.py and then add two new lines of code. What the fuck am I reading? Oh, so add a blank line between. Yeah. And then. Okay, so now when you run blah, 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 you should see two lines of output. Yes, I do. Okay, now that <laughs> wait is is sublime is it free? Oh, I'm so confused. So it may be downloaded and evaluated for free, but you must purchase a license for continued use. But when though? Ah, oh, fuck it. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, they want me to make mistakes so we can learn. Okay, let's go. Fuck you, bitch. Me. 
Okay, so we'll make this mistake, I think, right? Yes. So this is the foul in line two, and it gives us the line. And this is like the... Oh, shit. It even says, did you mean mess? It's like ChatGPT. Holy fucking shit. It's like AI. Big baby. And... 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 This... Yes. And... Uh, I'm a... <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah cool variables easy next up strings so what's happening here variable print name title if you run it it says a the low place okay so i don't I get it <laughs> oh oh i get it oh i don't get it <laughs> i don't get it so so this is a method title parentheses is a method and what it does is it gives the name value uh uh, 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 uh a capital letter right so lowercase a and lowercase l becomes capital a capital l uh, and title parentheses is a method for that it turns this into capital letters and it's useful they say it's useful because if you have the input values these uh or these or these now you want the program to recognize these inputs as the same name i guess this will display them all as this yeah well i mean we can't test it right Okay, I get it. I get it. Yeah, I get it. Well, now we know what this does. That's cool. That's pretty cool, actually. I like that. We can also turn everything in uppercase or lowercase. Oh. Okay, it's, it's getting a little bit complicated now. Oh, shit. So what they now want to do is Im imagine you have like two variables. You want to combine into a string right so maybe the first name and if you want the full name output you would have to do f for format that brackets oh shit then brackets and then the variables so this one and this one and it should give me the What did I do wrong? What did I do? Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm fucking smart. This is one way, but you can also just say... And if you say print message, it will give the same. Yeah, that's fucking great. Oh, that's fucking cool, actually. Oh, okay. Okay, so if you got this right, it's gonna give us a syntax error, if I'm not mistaken. No, because we <laughs> no, because we use double quotes. If we were to use one fucking quote like this, then it's gonna cause a syntax error because we already have an apostrophe thingy here. Okay, now we got some exercises. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, first exercise name the name variable, put some value to it, and then use the f string. Oh, we did it. For the second exercise, you take some name variable and you put them all in lowercase, uppercase, and the uh, first letter, high case. Yeah. And lastly, something with quotes. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, and then we can do this. Hell yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, wait, this is so cool! God damn! I'm actually having fun! 
Here we do something with white space. If you accidentally have some white space in your screen, you can just like strip it with these functions. But this one has the white space on the right still. This one has the right sp uh, uh, white space on the left still. And this one has no white space on either sides. Yeah, we did it. It's kind of insane that I like type this shit, right? It's insane. So that's strings. Now we have numbers. Oh, can I also do it like this? Oh, okay. Oh, you can also have exponents. So three to the exponent three should be 27. Okay, now that I think about it, right? What the fuck's an integer? A number that is not a fraction, a whole number. Okay, that's. <laughs> ah, English ain't my first language, okay? English ain't my first language, let me be. Ah, right. Okay, so it's a whole number. That's easy. But yeah, alright, uh, I'll end it for today here. Wow, guys. Oh man, I, I love Python. It's so cool. That's crazy, this uh, is a good book. I'm genuinely having fun right now. That's crazy. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode where we will learn about... Um, I will learn how to store collections of information in data structures called lists. Uh, you'll learn to work through a list, manipulating any information in that list. Wow, that's, that's cool. That's fucking cool. Yeah. See you guys in the next episode. <laughs> Bye.